Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a spouse in Family Tree Maker 2009. Okay, so you can see I'm on this family tab. So I've got this view that shows me and no spouse, no marriage information. So there are actually several ways to add a spouse within Family Tree Maker. If you've got a person selected in your view here, you can select person from the menu and go down to add person and then over to add spouse. That's one way to do it. You can also just click in this little gray box that is the spouse box for this person that's selected and enter in the name information, change the gender if necessary, and click OK. And then finally, you can also click down here in this little spouse box, add spouse, and enter in the information right here. So let's just do that since that's the last option that I wanted to show you. Any of them will work though. Okay. Carrie J. Puglisi, female, OK. All right, so she is added now as a spouse, and it actually changed her to the person that's the, that has uh, the focus right now. And right now it's got a little information box there that tells me, hey, I should add birth, marriage, death, and other facts in the pane to the right. So it selected her so that I can add that sort of information right over here. So one of the things I'm going to want to do is put in her birth date, which is 29 December 1965 and that was in Escanaba Delta County Michigan USA so I've added that and one of the things that I'm gonna to wanna to do is put source citation information in for that so I'm gonna to go to this um, citation box and click that add a new source citation and in this case I'm gonna pull this down okay so we're gonna have new this is gonna be um, okay, and then click New. Okay, got that, and I can enter specific citation details here and specific text if I want. Any kind of notes that I want for that and here I can actually attach the scan that I have of that which is what I want to do so I'm gonna go over here to click on this button that says attach new media or we can link to existing media. I'm gonna to attach to new media and I just have to go change to that folder and we'll put that in and it'll be right in this folder except that this files of type does not include PDF so I have to change this to all files and then I can go down here to that selection right there okay so I'm gonna make sure that copies over and I should be able to double click this and have that record open up here so I can verify all the information, Escanaba, Michigan, this is the hospital, this is her name, her father, and the 29th day of December 1965. So I've got all my facts straight. So now I have that, that media attached to this source entry. I can enter any notes that I want to here. So here, um, this might be where you want to put the information about who holds the the record so I've got that created the details of how you cite your sources of course are up to you I don't want to go into a whole bunch of detail on here um, if you're interested in how to go about doing this properly I highly recommend Elizabeth Schoen Mills books either evidence um, and or evidence explained um, you can find links to both of those in my uh, favorites list on the main page of PC Genealogist. And you can buy them through Amazon.com. So I'm going to click OK. And so now we have that birth information added. Now I just need to put in some date information. Now up here I typed in the date. You can also use a little date picker um, by clicking right here this date calculator or pressing Control D. So um, there's this ability to to enter in the age that the event happened or um, you know in years months and days that sort of thing 
and um, have it calculate a date. I'm not going to do that. Um, in this case, I'm just going to type it in. So this date was 5 February 2005, and we were married in Ann Arbor, Michigan. So I'm going to select that. And once again, I have source information for that, so I'm going to add a new source citation. And this is going to be new media and once again just navigate to the right folder in this case it's stored with my information so I'll just have to go down to my folder and again it's a PDF file so I'll just go right down here and there we go and open that Okay, so now if I double click this, we'll get the information here and we can see that all of that information is there. So we've attached that file. You want to, of course, populate the details of your source citation as appropriate, um, record numbers and different things like that. So there we go. We've got the spouse added with the marriage information here and you just have to flesh out your source information yourself, but there we go. We've got exactly what we wanted, the source added, and all of the um, facts that we added, the events that we added, are cited.